Welcome back to the Div 12 Resi's Wattle Park season. Now, we were away from home this week in the foggiest conditions I have ever played in in my life. Plenty of stuff to talk about from this game of footy, but before we get into it, if you've been loving the series and enjoying the previous videos, please hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of the episodes. This week, the preparation was a little bit different. Instead of going for a carb load, myself, Checkers, and Baz had a cafe carb load throughout the day we went to Jethro's and had a bit of a feed. Yeah, the way this man's moving is, is this a cyber radical ear or well, no I don't put the knee up I just <laughs> I just body and I just Jeez. I'm Tyler Walker and you're a cyber yeah. just climbing all over you. 24 hours bad. away. <laughs> hours. Right. I like halloumi but I don't know about my toasty. It doubles as protein and cheese. <laughs> and calories. <laughs> what do you got? Chicken, avocado, tomato and mayo. I only add things in there that end with O. Chico, mayo, ammo, tomato. Cafe carb load was the only thing I was had eaten on Friday. Um, we went and got a toasty at maybe 11 o'clock. Went to the footy that night. Went with Druzy. Got home at midnight from the footy. I haven't been in Melbourne lately, so I went to my pantry and all I had left was brown rice and tinned mushrooms. And I hate to admit this, but I did cook up brown rice and tinned mushrooms at one in the morning. And then at night, I stayed at home. Checkers and Drews went to the footy. Shrey went out for dinner and Jarrah went to work. So the boys were separated on the Friday night, which probably wasn't the best preparation we've had. All right, we're here at Glen Waverley. It was like an unbelievable deck. Um, very foggy though. I can't see the other side of the ground, which is concerning. So hopefully that lifts before the game starts. But, it's like um, a nice British morning, mate. It's freezing, mate. Reminds me of back on. I want to go back inside in the heater. Hello, boyos. It's like we're in Azkaban in oh. Harry Potter. How you feeling? Feeling good. I'm a dementor. Yeah, it sucks Trey's soul. What is going on? There's a net session going on. Nice. Wrong time of year, mate. It's 8 a.m. and it's covered in fog and it's wet. <laughs> it's a perfect condition to try a net session. Have you checked the smoke machine on early? Yeah, I want to get into the net session. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know you could play with a broken heart. Yeah, no, I, um, you know, we missed out on the carb load last night, but I ate clinical depression for dinner. It tasted like Nick Dacos. But we're here today to cheer ourselves up. This is a cure to depression. The cure to depression is play like Nick Dacos and show Carlton what they should have done. Talk us through Jared's pre-game kit today. Well, he's got the shorts, which is okay, which is okay. He's got the Bundy Smuggler jumper. It's just, it's just strange. The colour combinations aren't right. The ankle socks are no good. Oh no, yeah. not for me. Yeah. Not yeah. for me. There you go. If you have two, you're fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lily T. I pooped, I pooped, I pooped. Oh. How are you feeling this morning? Well, strings are a bit tight after just jumping around, but... Um, I'm excited for a big get, a big ground. Hopefully a lot of footy out the back. Hopefully a lot of Will Taylor goals. Hopefully a lot of celebrations. <laughs> Talk to <Mate. laughs> They're like a salad. It was a gift. Was are you going to take that pre-game? Uh, it'll be a pre and half time. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will enhance performance. So it's a fucking big boy. <laughs> it's a big boy. Cam, Mortal Park debut. Debut, yeah. Uh, Div 12 Rezzy's been a fan for a long time, so happy to get out there. Yeah, I just want to um, be really selfish. I want to <coughs> be handballing the ball, kicking from any. If I get the footy, it's going straight through. Any any score any score is pretty good, I reckon. Goal point. As long as I'm getting a stat, um, and I don't think they can in my stats, so obviously I'll bring my phone out there just to tally them all out. <laughs> yeah. We do comedy together, he's a stand-up comic. We made the grand final of Raw Comedy Festival, National Festival. Should we do a quick joke off? I I'll go first. Yeah, go on. <laughs> got an audience, mate. Go on. I'll just go in the audience. I'm just an audience member. Dad came home the other day, and uh, he put a map of the world up, and he told my mum, throw a dart, wherever it lands, we're going to spend four weeks there. Long story short, we're spending a month behind the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go win this game of footy. <laughs> It'll be all right. Oh, we got um, I've, I've, we were just having serious crosses conversations about where I've come to the, I came to this realization ages ago, but there are so many more bad times than good. Like, it's not, it's really not worth it. If equalisation works, you win one premiership every 17 years. I'm well, 26, I haven't seen one. That's 26 years of disappointment. I'm sick of listening to the pies. What's the point? Yeah, me and Rods talk every day. We talk every hour, I would say. So I sent him a little message last night. Not like this, dot, dot, dot. 
14, 16 hours, never heard from him. So I started to get really worried about your, uh, yeah. your, Drew, your existence. Oh, we've already talked about it on camp, but... I wasn't on this one, though. Oh. Drewzy fucking messages me after the game, like, some message of consolation, and I'm like, you are, you're the last person I want to fucking talk to right now. <laughs> Didn't open that either. I was tempted to block him. I was like, when Bailey McCabe rocks up and says someone's stolen my jumper, I thought immediately there's one of two options here. You've either lost your jumper or you've misplaced it. Someone, there's a thief within Waddle Park. There's a Guernsey, Guernsey thief within Waddle Park. I'm not happy about it. There's someone stealing my materials. Lo, lo and behold, he looks rummaging through his bag. He can't find his mouth guard either. So he opens up the side pocket and he, the, the jumper thief has put his jumper into the side pocket. So Bailey McCabe, he had to... Um, he had to wear a Guernsey that was unwashed because clearly he hadn't taken it out of the bag. So it absolutely reeked, but didn't reek half as bad as his performance for the rest of the day. fucking <laughs> bag! It was his bag, Drews. It was in his bag. And it stinks. It doesn't smell good That's either. Seriously. Oh, no. That was one of the worst oh, things I've ever smelled in my career. Accusations going around about his teammates. No, people are stealing from me and then they're putting it back once they feel guilty about it. Think, reveal yourself. They feel the guilt of the, of the, and the weight of the 23 and what it can do. They say you should pack your bag the night before, not unpack your bag the fucking hour before we kick off. <laughs> I don't, the, the thing about packing it is that it makes it a whole lot easier if it's already in there. So I'll just leave it in there, you know what I mean? We get down to Mazanod and the ground was big and expansive, which I was excited by. There was so much fog, it was ridiculous. There was dew all over the oval and the fog was insane. So uh, we knew that it was going to be a pretty rough day at the office to see the ball, let alone get the ball. Oh, I'm missing my right, right nutsack, actually. I'm pretty devastated about that. Came in about 15 minutes ago, got told he's playing twos. No. Not, not on, not on. Oh, what are we going to do? We're the most handsome looking back line, and we've lost one of the best looking blokes on the team. Pretty devastated, but I, know, I think we should pull through today. One nut down. I know, it's, it's not good. The sack's feeling a bit empty, but we get through. <laughs> I don't want, this is um, this is diva, diva sort of stuff, but I don't want to run around and get my feet wet before we play, because then that's like 30 minutes before the bounce of chafing and... Mate, you kicked eight last week. Start acting like it. Start acting like it. Don't get me wet. One, two, two, three. Make sure you give your mate a spot on these ones, please. <laughs> Get the hips in, Rod. Yeah, he knows where the camera is, boss. <laughs> Scotty Walton, game two, Waddle Park. Mm. How you feeling? I'm tired. Tired? It's early. Come on, man. Yeah, I know, I should pump up, but you know, we're going to have the days that you're tired, and you're going to have the days that you're not tired, and I'm tired today. I've got the hoodie on, it's cold, it's wet, it's not really my conditions, I like it dry. I'll be honest with you. Sorry, ah. Hey, Drews. Do you reckon they can smell me through the camera? Oh, if they could, they wouldn't be watching still because it's fucking putrid. Yeah, okay, well that was nice, was it? <laughs> <laughs> what about the hair as well? I haven't done anything with the hair. Hair looks good. Straight out of the shower. That looks fine. Thanks, man. Yeah. Just make sure you sort me out today. I'm going to need some help. <laughs> uh, team's up here. There's a few swaps already on the board. If you don't have a swap you're on the bench, you're going on, don't stress. It's just these are direct swaps to help our magnet person today because last week we got lost with where people play. <laughs> Um, but yeah, a, few, a lot of new faces in the club, a lot of new debutants. Um, but if you haven't been in one of these before, basically all we say is we just are enjoying our free the most this year. Um, we go out there, it's obviously where we don't want to kill anyone, we don't want to hurt anyone, we don't get any biff, even though I did last week. Lads, lads, lads. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of Here we go, boys. First contest! These bikes have never seen a contest before. <laughs> never. Play where with the footy too, it's good fun. Yeah. Just, just kick it forward at all costs, get territory, and and if it's on the ground, don't try and hand pass it out because it's wet. Just jump on it. Yeah. Sam Draper, I'm not. Yeah. Give away 50 holding the balls, it's fine. I'd rather that than. Get it done, boys. Get it done. To start the game, I went out to full forward. So obviously last week, if you didn't know, I bagged eight. And I was licking my lips because um, I thought starting at full forward might give me the best opportunity to get on the scoreboard. The lads in the midfield win the clearance. They kicked it long. As the game started, I was off with the fairies. I was looking around. I was chatting to my opponent. I was chatting to the other forwards. I was chatting to Sketch, who was debuting. I was just sort of didn't have my head in the game. So when Jarrah gets the clearance, 
I reacted to it super, super late. I slid in and I just missed the footy. Um, if I had been a bit more switched on, I would have had a mark and a shot 10 seconds to start to start the quarter. We won the first clearance, um, which we unfortunately also did in the 133-point loss a few weeks ago as we won this crazy clearance and Vinny laced out our full forward. And then this time, Jarrow won the clearance and laced out our forward line. And yeah, it looked like we were half on. That's a nice optimistic approach. Uh, the pessimists might say we were half off. <laughs> Caden came up to me and was very concerned. I think there were three goals to zip, and Caden goes, I want to go in the back pocket. Put me down back. We're going to put a spare down back. And I was like, it's three cheapies. So like, nothing crazy has happened so far. We've just maybe haven't kicked very straight. It's a little bit wet. But uh, maybe we should have put him in the back pocket. After we had a couple of inside 50s, the ball was going one way and one way only. And I play a lot of FIFA, and I'm very tactical on FIFA. And when I concede two or three in the first 20 minutes, I go ultra-defensive, I get to half time, hopefully score one in that time and just chip away at the lead. So when we went down by three or four goals early, I went into the middle and chatted to checkers and I said, check man, should we chuck a spare in defense? Let's stem the bleeding and then regroup at quarter time. So I went to Rog after they kicked the fourth or fifth. I said, Rog, as a wingman, can you just stand in defense as that spare? And he turns to me and he goes, oh, That'll affect our transition forward. We're probably not going to shift the footy if I go in defence. And I thought, well, the game will be over at quarter time if we do nothing. We didn't react quick enough, and I felt like the game was done at quarter time. Yeah, it was kind of good because there was a few behind, so I was getting all the kick in, so definitely got the stats going up there. Um, they were very accurate in front of goals. Yeah, constantly get it in. They had the perfect forward structure with a big circle in the middle and just their tall forwards would just roam straight into the spot. It was hard the first half, it was especially that first quarter. Their tall, or probably their smallest guy was our tallest guy on the team, so the height difference, especially in the back line, was very difficult. It was really wet, but it was like not wet, like it wasn't raining, but it was this really weird thing with the fog where when we got to the ground, you walk underneath the trees and the trees were raining because the condensation of the fog was hitting the leaves, causing water droplets. So if you walked under a tree, it was raining, but if you walked out in the open, it was just fog. So it was, it was still really wet. Like shoes were wet, ball was wet, everything was dripping wet, but there was no rain. Um, and it made the ball really slippery. So I can understand why they missed them. They, they were kicking them from the pockets. We weren't kicking from in front. We were trying to take little banana chips from the, from the pockets. How you feeling out there, mate? Uh, it's going end to end way too easy. And we're getting scored against way yeah. too so it's easy. Be high so. it's be high flow. Um, disappointing. Space, it's going to trend touches, yeah. the way the St. Mary's one did if we don't. Do something defensively, well, so I'm a bit worried. That side of the ground is always going to be open. Yeah. When we switch the when we switch the ball and get it more in board, yeah. that's where one at least one player is going to be as well. Like Cam said, if someone peels off from the half back and they're switching the ball, you've got to go. So they're they're generating a lot of the play from the back line. So when they're kicking out or when they have the ball deep in our fifty, come out a bit more. So let them have like the little. 20, 30 metre kick, and then just come and man up at the 50 or 60, yeah. or even beyond, because they're, they're trying to kick it long, it's pretty obvious, and if they like, no, you're just trying to get space. So, like I said to Shrey, yeah. like, and the boy, like, empty out. What we mean by empty out is get in front of the ball. It's no. hard out there. I think going forward, we need our forwards to be leaning up the ball, be in front, trying to get it out the back, but we're not getting it down that far. So play in front, let's hit him on the nipple, work our way down that way, I reckon. Oh, he's doing all right. He's, he's getting into the right spots. He just needs to get his hands on it. I think they need to give it to him. Not quite the eight goals of last week, but I'm holding out hope for him. We need to give it to him. <laughs> fight, boys. Right in from the floor. Let's fight. I was really flat at quarter time. It was sort of like, man, like it feels like the game's over. I can't see the other end of the footy oval. We're under the pump. And then the second quarter, we tried hard to work our way back into it, but we couldn't connect with the forward. So I got told to stay super, super deep for structure. But every time I tried to stand back shoulder, they'd mark it in front of us. And then every time I try and lead up, they'd kick over our head. And as a forward, it was just super tough to try and connect with our mids. I found a few times going forward, we were struggling. It was a bigger ground than we've played on, the biggest ground we've played on this year. And then the ball was wet. So a couple of times we'd go to kick that 40 metre lead and the ball would only go 30 metres. And they maybe played that a lot better and stood in front of our men. 
or stood in that hole a lot better because we just could not kick. A couple of times, Jarrah let up at me and I tried to kick to him and he was 50 metres away and that came off my boot about 15 metres. With the little bit of intermission between plays as his ball's up, I'm looking across at some of my teammates and I can tell that they've checked out. I'm looking across at Caden McDonald, checked out. I'm having a look at Bailey McCabe, checked out. Having a look at Riley Stray, checked out. And I'm thinking, tell you what, this hotel might want to start running some specials because I'm the only bloke that's checked in. It lived down in the back line. I think Dan and Baz and um, Glanville and um, Junior and the rest of the lads battled as hard as they could, but the amount of entries they were having, it was like a wall expecting to burst. But, um, yeah, I thought our back line tried super hard and Dan, who I think had 34 touches in the end, um, he was exceptional for us. Like, especially our two-way running was kind of letting us down a little bit. The connection trying to go forward, it was just constantly coming back the other way and then over our heads for a goal. So it wasn't pretty, but um, yeah, it's probably one of our worst quarters of the year, unfortunately. We were going so bad in the second term that the big check man who grabbed it out of the ruck for the clearance ended up booting it the wrong way. I kicked the wrong way at one point in the second quarter. Um, oh. God, I was like thinking, sweet, we've got one of the first clearances of the game and Checkers has just kicked it 80 metres the wrong way. And I was just standing there, oh shit, this is coming our way, we've got to go here. Um, yeah, Checkers kicked the wrong way, um, which is good. They really needed that advantage, the opposition. Um, did them a favour there. Uh, I think that, that you can put that down to the fog, the haze. He didn't know if he was kicking north, east, south or west. He needed like one of the old-fashioned sundials the Vikings used to sail the seas when there was too much fog overhead so yeah check is not his finest moment but he was one of the only blokes that had a crack so i can't be too uh too dismissive of him Enjoy the contest at the moment. So we're going to have a few of these games this year. And who knows? You know, we're going to have games, we're going to have games behind, we're going to have games, we're going to lose behind. That's just the way the season's going to go. So the best thing you can do here is learn about it. Fucking, how do we play these games better? Because if we want to win a flag, if we want to go far in finals, if we want to scrape in a final, we're going to have to win a couple of these this year. So, so. I actually listen to what Chuck said there. Like, go out this half and think about like, the role and how you actually can be better. Like, don't just hear it. Go, yeah, you could easily just go out and be like, hey, 100 point loss, 100 point loss. Just scroll around. It'll be 11 o'clock soon and we can go back home and have a shower and forget about it. But you can go, all right, we got, what, an hour of footy? To really go, oh shit, this is an hour of experience and we're not getting a training, we're not getting a So it takes only the next 50 minutes of footy. Try to learn some stuff, all right? Frustrating. Gutted. <laughs> Close to putting the kick in the rack. Don't do it. But um, I'm going to try and do what I didn't do against Mary's and fight this one out. I'm going to really up my output in this second half because, I don't know, just a bit, bit defeated at me. Tough day. Mm. Few, big, few big bodies. They're quick. We're not very quick. What can you do? Next two quarters, hold ourselves accountable. Play some good footy. Let's have a crack. How are you feeling out there, coach? Oh, changing my boots. I wish I could change my socks because they're really wet. <laughs> um, I wore the long sprigs today because I thought I was going to be wet, but the ground's like a cricket pitch out there, so my ankles are burnt. <laughs> I'll put the shorter sprigs on now. Hopefully, please, ankles work tonight when I walk down Swan Street and have a few. Please, please don't be hurt. I can't walk up the stairs at Revs with sore ankles. What's happening? This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. I don't know what to do. At least you smell nice. <laughs> Bro, like, what do we do? Like, because I'm not a natural forward. Actual like, question. We get put out of position. That their three forwards are all bigger than our biggest back. Yeah. What do we do? We can't fucking do anything. Like, I think I've had two touches of footy this game. Well, I know last time we played, we didn't expect to get pumped by 133. I think at half time we're down by about 50, which you can still claw back. Like, it's still a winnable game. Um, and the messaging at half time last time we had a big loss was go out there and get some individual success, like try try to get some individual goals or a mark or a big spoil or a big tackle. And it didn't really work. It turned around and they, they, they dominated us in the second half. So this time around, I was like, let's claw it back a little bit as a team rather than individuals. Yeah, coming out of halftime, we had a bit of a rev up, which is what we certainly needed. 
Um, I think they didn't actually have anyone on the bench starting in the third. So a few of us kind of thought there's something a bit different going on here. Yeah, we played better in the third quarter, but it's because our opposition had about eight blokes that were meant to be playing in the bloody twos. Um, had to leave the ga- our game at halftime because I had to get ready for the twos. Yeah, their team changed a lot. Um, their ruckman shook my hand at halftime as we were coming off and said, see you, mate, have a good day. And I was like, <laughs> what's going on here? And he goes, I'm going to go play the twos game. So... Yeah, they did have a maybe a little bit of a weaker side in the second. I'm not going to pump up our boys and say we played the best footy, but we we did find it a lot easier. Um, and Jarrah turned it on as well, so you got to give him some credit out of the midfield. He had a lot of clearances. And- in the third quarter, after Checkers gave us a really big speech about fighting it out, I felt like the boys did super well. The ball goes long, and we got a little bit of momentum. Um, Jarrah marks it in the pocket, and Jarrah's spoken to me throughout the year about, you know, if... I'm not in the best position, just get yourself free. So Jarrah's walking back to the top of his mark um, in the pocket. So I just stood 15 out directly in front of goals and I went, Jarrah, Jarrah. And I'm trying to make eye contact with him. He turns in board and looks at me and goes to hit me on the tit. And as he goes to hit me up, Rog floats forward and marks. And I didn't even want the footy in the sense that I didn't think he was going to kick it to me. So I didn't even ask for it. It just so happens I was in a pocket of space. He makes eye contact with me. And I went from having my hands around here to sort of opening up like that. And all of a sudden hit me on the nipple and um, just went through my routine. Um, my routine is do something different every time and hope for the best. And um, it works. Yeah, he's, but he's pretty much roaming everywhere. I'm pretty sure he's made the wing his own. There's they had a bit of like a Roger wing going on as well. But um, yeah, he floated forward. He's um, been everywhere the last month, I reckon. So I think he's been rewarded with the goal. The celebrations were flat. <laughs> I remember the first game we played, everyone was running in, screaming every time anyone kicked a goal. And then Rog kicks his first in round five. No one really cares. It was maybe one high five here and there. That was the best quarter so far. All right, we won it. They started getting dirty. Let's not buy into it. Hit them hard. Yeah. Yeah. The game. Well, they're also getting the lazy as well. They're not running yeah. as much as they were no. in that first half. Exactly. They're getting gas. So just go hard. Make them going to earn this win. All yeah, right? we, we win the huh? second half, so I'm great to hang our hat on. How good does it feel, boys? How good does it feel? If you hear a voice to the outside, make sure you're looking and we can hit them up. Like, even the one where Rogie, <laughs> when Rogie gets it on the wing for that free kick or whatever, even though it gets partly smothered, the fact that we've got two of us running through the middle and we're rewarding that lead, we're going we're gonna to win two-on-ones a lot of the time and we get a really deep injury. So even if we're like, fuck it, they've, they've got a man in the middle, but we're going to two-on-one, let's take the game on a little bit. Because when we, when we get it moving forward, we look so much better. From the yeah, kick, it's like in that middle area because everyone's kind of pushing wide. Yeah. You're in there, then you're just turning down. And then, boys, when we have a kick out, fucking hit a target, right? I don't know who turned <laughs> 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 We're going to try too hard out here. <laughs> let's just keep having fun, though. But, nah, we're, we're doing our job, so. If you got the pill in the middle, just look both ways. Hey, blokes who can't hit a target forward, today. Looking, <laughs> whatever's there. I'm on the, I'm on the that goal um, was just, it was pretty much typical thirds footy. I think no one was kind of running at him. I know myself, I was kind of waiting for someone else to go up to him. There's two guys who were just handballing it to each other, making it look so easy. Taking bounce um, on the ground as well, which was pretty hard for the whole game. He's just kind of running up the wing and I'm running back to the goals trying to protect the space, but no one else is going back to him and then he just slots it just like nothing. And it was, it was probably one of their best players of the day, but yeah, just made it so easy. Cam, the big recruit, he's uh, he's a comedian who, who works a lot with Rog. Um, he was our key forward for the day. Had some good stuff on the wing, had a couple of shots on goal, but um, got his just desserts in the end, kick two. And he's going to be a pillar for us going forward. Big recruit. Roger had said he was pretty good at footy back in the day, but he hadn't played for a while. Then he rocked up, didn't have any footy shorts, Guernsey socks, nothing. Hadn't been to, he'd been to one training, um, and his boots were two sizes too small. So I was like a bit dubious on what Roger was saying here, because sometimes Roger says things are good, and we go there, and they're not as good as they seem. He wants to take us to all these techno rave clubs or. For, for dinner, you know, sometimes he's like, yeah, we go out to Rebs for dinner, so. <laughs> um, Roger's word's not always the best word, but it was here. He, he, pulled, he plucked us a gun, and I think Cam's going to be gonna be dominating. He might be competing with Kate McDonald for the leading goal kicker this year. Yes, my man Muratore, the uh, the comedian, um, was no laughing matter on the weekend because he was slotting them from everywhere. He's this dynamic forward that's good below his knees. He's deceivingly a big rig and I think he's going to be a monstrous inclusion for us is Cam Moratore. Um, funny off the field and just dominant on the field. The ball went in deep over our heads. Uh, I think Tails competed well, brought it to ground. 
Scotty picked up. I floated out, and I was standing pretty much on the point post. Scotty handballed to me, and there was a part of me that went, all right, let's 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 get a bit of a boon on uh, to cap off the day. But I was probably half a second off. So once I got the ball, I was like, I'm probably not going to get it off in time to finish my dinner. And then I saw Tails just over the top of a couple of defenders. So I got it to him. Among the handball, he did well to recover and get boot to ball. But it was an awesome finish by Tails to cap off the day. It's going to be hard not to be in a funk for three hours after that. It was so degrading, frustrating, and sipping. I know, it's hard. And I'm not talking about Sam, I'm talking about myself. So, fought hard towards the end, but. I think it's important we take the little wins out today. So, we had a couple of boys kick their first goal for the club today. Uh, me, I think someone else did as well. So. Yeah, it was alright, it was tough. But, um, no, boys, boys um, worked hard at the end. How was your own individual performance? You, I think I'm working into the season. No, that's all right. No, I just think I'm working into the season a bit, but uh, no, worked up the ground a bit today. Just get a couple more Ks in the legs, I reckon. I'll start hitting a few more targets and start kicking some goals. So. so we got rolled by 93 points. It's a little bit different to what happened against St. Mary's. Once again, I felt like we battled hard throughout the second half, which we couldn't say for ourselves against St. Mary's. So it, it it's one where you can take a couple of positives out of it but um, super disappointing day at the office and when we lose we lose hard so um, big week at training and we're going to try and bounce back we play at home next week I'm pretty sure as well so a bit of familiarity we love the zoo once again guys I appreciate everyone tuning in I appreciate all the support and um, we'll see you for some more content very very soon cheers <laughs>